Yes. Uh, I'm feeling very Alicia Keys. Are you dumb? <laughs> Okay, so to start off, um, my hair is dirty, for one. Like, I need to wash my hair. It's been probably close to a week. It's probably been a week since I washed it. So I'm just taking my Demon brush and detangling because I need to get this unruly hair in a nice slick back low bun. Yeah, I like to do um, slick back styles on like not freshly washed hair, but a couple days old hair. I'm going to recreate Alicia Keys Grammy's hairstyle look. I just want to say I don't watch the Grammys like ever because I just feel like they're not pro-black and it's really annoying to watch so I don't support I'll get into that later but Alicia Keys hair though like sis was giving me she was giving me life with them baby hairs and the little studs in them and then she had the cornrows going back and then like halfway through the show she switched and she just had like um a middle part slick back bun and that's the look that I'm doing because I don't feel like braiding my hair so <laughs> it was just like giving me black girl magic you know like I put um I parted my hair down the middle because she did have a middle part and I'm gonna take my edge brush with no product on it and I'm gonna pull out like some hair not too much but just enough so I could do the baby hairs they're kind of long like her baby hairs are like hella long I'm like I don't got all that so let's see what I could do you know like let's see like what I could do I got a little breakage in the front like maybe I can make something pop off let me zoom you guys in so I'm just pulling then I'm gonna start taking some of my eco styler and slicking my hair back into that low bun. And I just lay it. I like to start at the part. So I can really flatten. And then taking some more, I'm gonna just place it along my hairline. And I take some um, gel back here and I always grab up all the hair back there too. I'm like really generous with my, my eco styler because honestly I feel like if you use a little bit it don't really last long. You kind of have to like slather it on for your hair to like not really budge or move. And then taking this brush, you guys have seen me use this before. Um, I got this at Sally Beauty. I'll link it in the description box. I'm gonna start to lay my edges without grabbing my baby hairs. I wanna do like a like a swoop and then have the baby hairs because it wasn't like the hair wasn't like being pulled back, it was like being pulled down and then into a bun. So grabbing your hair. some more gel smoothing that down like I'm gonna really press it down and then I'm taking a big bristle brush and kind of just going over everything get a nice slick back look birthday is in less than five days 
so you see I grabbed up all my hair. I got it in a nice slick back ponytail. So I have two scrunchies on my wrist. I always use two scrunchies. I just have so much hair that if I use one scrunchie, it doesn't feel like it's tight enough. So you use what you're comfortable with. It's tight So we'll worry about the ponytail portion later. Now it's time to do these move again, baby ears. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a combination of the Eco Styler Gel and my Edge Booster Style Factor. Oh, this stuff smells so good. I can just use this, but this dries down very quickly and I need to like mold and shape the baby hairs, which is why I'm gonna use this first. This gives me a little bit more time um, to really like sculpt my baby hairs. And then I'm gonna finish off with this because once this is set, baby, they're not going nowhere, okay? And then you put the scarf on. <laughs> Sis, your baby hairs is gonna look crazy. They're gonna look crazy good, okay? And then I'm gonna be using a combination of also my rat tail comb with like the pointy side and then my dirty ass edge brush that I don't want to show you guys. I'm gonna bring up the photo on the screen so you guys can see for reference. I'm gonna take my Eco Styler a little bit and I'm gonna just put some on my forehead. I can't really like explain how to do this. I feel like you just kind of have to watch me. Okay, so to kind of make sure that all of this stays in place, I'm gonna spritz it with some Got To Be Free spray, and I'm also gonna spray this on my um, my hair too. So I see some hairs here that I just wanna Once you do the free spray, you before it dries, you really don't have much time to mold it. So you want to make sure if you're at the point where you're using the free spray, you're happy with the way that it looks.
Okay, so I tied down my edges. Straight them a little got to be, put my scarf on. Now it's time to take care of this ponytail we got in the back that literally looks like so bad. Um, I'm gonna do a bun, so I'm just gonna spray this hair so I can get it nice and flat and then twist it up into a bun. The hardest part is over, guys. Oh my god! I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do it, but I did it! So, just gonna twist my hair up into. I have this neon green um, scrunchie. I'm hoping that it won't be too visible. And then I'm gonna take two more black scrunchies. So um, I took my scarf off, face is B, you know, <laughs> y'all already know what it is. Um, I put, I wanted to like try the technique of how I was going to apply the little um, crystals, the little studs. So the best method for me personally is to take my glue, um, my lash glue, and to dot it where I'm going to place the, the stud. And I let it sit there for like 30 seconds so it can get a little tacky. This glue dries really fast. And then I'm using this lash applicator from I Envy Kiss. These I purchased off of, I forgot where I bought these. If I can find the link, I'll link them down below in the description box. But um, I bought these to like use on my nails, but they're cosmetic rhinestones, so you can use them for like anything they're okay to be used on your face is what I'm saying it's not like they're only for your nails but I bought them to use for when I do my nails taking the little stud and I'm just placing it right where I put the lash glue and it looks so fucking cute oh my god this is like this is giving me life right now like I want to do this every day. It's so damn cute. She doesn't have too many, so I don't want to go overboard and put too much because I think I have more like little baby ears than her, but I'm trying to be selective with where I'm putting the most. Ooh, this is the most fun part about. Oh my god, so fucking cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Wait, I feel like I need one more, either right here or over here. I'm gonna do it right here. Yes. I'm feeling very Alicia Keys. Are you dumb? I'm just gonna finish off everything by just spraying with my got to be spray. So that is the completed Alicia Keys baby hair, crystal baby hair, Grammys inspired <laughs> tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button as well and join the fam. There will be new videos coming your way, so make sure your post notifications are turned on and you're ready for some new, fun, cute content, okay? Okay, honey, I'm living, okay. No, it came out so good. Like, I'm so proud of myself. I thought I didn't have enough edges for this look, but it turns out I do. Like, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload.